this was the year that Sigourney Weaver was nominated for an Oscar in two categories. One for for Best Actress in Gorillas in the Mist, and the other for Best Supporting Actress in Working Girl. And she did not win either. What a bummer. I mean, you figure if you're nominated in two categories, you would at least win one. But unfortunately, that did not happen. Sigourney Weaver plays Diane Fossey, a woman who is, goes a woman who goes to Africa to study gorillas, and for the next several years she becomes their savior. She fights off poachers. She really, and she has this really fearless attitude. I really like this film. I really did. Um, I think. Sigourney Weaver really gave a tour de force performance. Shame she didn't win an Oscar because I thought she was really good in the movie. I like the way she portrayed uh, Diane Fossey, and I'm I'm really sure that uh, she really wants to. She portrayed her pretty accurately. I think she talked to people who knew Diane Fossey best. I think she wanted to get her down right. I liked her, I really believed her, uh, her really wanting to help the gorillas, I think, and also the scene where she almost looked like she was going crazy over what poachers did to one gorilla in a really gruesome manner. I think her acting was very powerful and, uh, and all that. I, I like the scene where she rescues a a baby gorilla from poachers and then she goes in the restaurant finds the guy responsible and really tells him off. Oh man, this woman's got guts you're like. <laughs> I like the way this movie shows what uh, what gorillas suffered through before Diane Fossey. I mean, after her death, I mean, it's proven there was less and less poachers. I mean, she really made a difference. This movie's like a great tribute to her. I mean, I also like Brian Brown as Bob Campbell, the photographer who Fosse has a relationship with. I, I thought their relationship seemed kind of forced at first, but then no, they really Brown and Weaver have good chemistry. They really do. I think this. I like the way this film. I like the Africa setting. It, the only problem I had with it, it had me hard. It, it was really hard for me to believe it was 18 years. It, it didn't didn't seem that way. It looked like it was a couple years, but not 18, and all that. But other than that, it was a great film. It it makes you appreciate Diane Fossey and all she sacrificed for what she believed in. So I give Gorillas in the Mist a 10 out of 10. See you later.